Hey guys, welcome back to Network Chuck. Uh, well, welcome to my network closet. <laughs> this is, sorry, my kids are going crazy. This is uh, the best I can do in an apartment right now. So excuse my mess, I'm kind of a slob, to be honest. I just like to make things work. I was never one of those like super clean cable guys. Anyhow, so I posted uh, earlier, or actually last week, about this guy here. And if you don't already know who he is, this is my good buddy Malcolm. He is my Raspberry Pi. Now, uh, Malcolm, he's kind of a bad guy. He's a bad dude. He's running Kali Linux. And that's a uh, flavor of Linux that has a bunch of tools for networking attacks. So, um, I've been playing with this and it's super fun. And I wanted to show you guys a few of the attacks I like and uh, kind of walk through those. So I got him powered up. I can remotely access him via SSH and also VNC. He uh, auto logs in, so that's good. So now I'm gonna plug him up to the uh, switch here. I wanna show you a really awesome attack. It's called a VLAN hopping attack. And um, you're basically hacking into a switch. It's amazing. So um, I'm gonna plug him in, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna go somewhere else. I'm just gonna walk away and, um, and try to hack into my own network. Let's give it a try. All right, plugging Malcolm in. Let's get this thing going. Plugging Malcolm into port 14, remember that. All right, let's do this. Let's do this. Okay, so I am in a public area attempting to attack or hack into my own network, my own switch. Now yeah, I'm connected to my own VPN connection, so that's one thing. First things first, remember I plugged my Raspberry Pi into my switch on port 14. So let's go and just take a look at things. So before I actually do the attack, what is a VLAN hopping attack? You may not know what it is. Well, um, well, let's start with what is a VLAN? You may not even know what a VLAN is. So in networking, a VLAN is stands for Virtual LAN Local Area Network. And what VLANs allow us to do is partition or separate off uh, networks in a switch. Basically, we're, we're, we're creating little virtual switches inside of a switch. And these break up what's called broadcast domains. Let's say you're, you're connected to a switch in a port that's on VLAN 1. You cannot access computers in VLAN 2 unless you go to a router that can then route you to VLAN 2. So those VLANs are kind of like an extra layer of security. They separate the traffic on the switch. You cannot get to a host from VLAN 1 to VLAN 2 unless you go to a router or some kind of layer three device. Now that layer three could de device could also be the switch itself, but it still has to go through the routing process to get back to that VLAN. So it's an extra layer of security. Now what a VLAN hopping attack will do is it will attempt to um, hack that security. Now there are a couple ways to actually implement a VLAN hopping attack. I'm going to demonstrate today with my good old buddy Malcolm how to do it with the most popular method and it's called switch spoofing. Now when you have a port on a switch, it's gonna be one of two kinds. It'll either be an access port, which is you know typically what you plug your, your, your computer into, your, your, your printers and everything else, or it'll be a trunk port. And the trunk ports are usually connected to other switches. Whereas an access port, you'll have one VLAN configured. That's it. When you plug your computer into that one access port, you only have access to one VLAN. So if, you, if that access port is configured for VLAN 1, you can only communicate with devices in VLAN 1 unless you go to a router. So you only have layer 2 access to devices in, the, in, in VLAN 1. And then you have your trunks. And your trunks, I always picture tree trunks. <laughs> These are your multi-VLAN uh, ports. And they usually connect to switches. And they'll pass traffic for multiple VLANs. That's what they're designed for. And they'll do this with a technology called 802.1Q, which is a standard for trunking. And uh, it will tag these frames with a VLAN tag. So the switch will know what, what VLAN to send the, uh, the frame to. So using Malcolm, our Raspberry Pi with Kali Linux, we will try to turn this harmless access port that only gives people access to one VLAN into a trunk port, giving us access to all of the VLANs. Opening up the door for a number of amazing attacks. So let's get going on this. So first, let's verify the state of the, uh, the access port we're connected to. So this was interface 14. So let's do a uh, show interface status. We'll do show interface FA1014 status. We see right now it's connected, VLAN one. Now, what you would typically see right here, if that were a trunk, is it would say trunk. So like, let's look at one of my trunks. Let's do show interface trunk. And um, let's pick one of my trunks here, show 
interface FA1024 status. And yeah, so right here under VLAN it says trunk. We want our interface 14 to look like that. So let's uh, let's power up our Raspberry Pi. Let's wake up Malcolm, wake up the beast. All right, here he is. We're gonna launch an application called Yersenia. All right, so you can see that we can do a ton of attacks, um, but in particular, we're gonna do a uh, DTP attack, the dynamic trunking protocol, which is what switches will use to negotiate if the report's gonna be a trunk or an access port. Now again, it's normally used by switches, right? Uh, but we're going to impersonate its switch with our Mr. Malcolm here and uh, try to hack into it. So we'll use that attack, DTP. And then we'll select our attack type. Now, this is kind of cool. It's really stinking easy. This is all I'm doing. I'm selecting one for enabled trunking. And um, that was it. <laughs> so let's go to our switch and see if it actually worked. So let's go show interface FA1014 status. <laughs> oh my gosh. Can you believe that? We just changed our, I mean, let's go look back up our, our, at our, um, our status here. So before, not moments ago, it was just in an access port, VLAN 1. Now, it's a stinking trunk port. Show interface trunk. There he is right there. And you know what? He has access to all VLANs. That's crazy. Now what we can do is um, set ourselves in our Yersinia Malcolm attack here uh, to 802.1Q mode and listen for all the broadcasts on the VLANs. Now you see what I'm seeing here. So not only did I convert this access port, this harmless access port into a trunk, I um, then am, I'm now able to see what IP addresses they have and um, the VLANs. <laughs> now at this point, I could just assign myself an IP address in the VLAN of my choosing and um, access that network, no problem. So if I were a malicious hacker trying to do this, pretty easy, right? Now if you're studying for your CCNA or um, CCNA security or CCMP security, you might know, well, Chuck, um, default security practices is to do something, this one thing that will prevent this. What is that? So that's a really cool attack. We changed an access port uh, into a trunk port with a really simple, it only took us a few seconds. Well guys, that's about it. If you like this type of video, like security stuff, hacking into things, uh, let me know. I'll make more of these. Uh, I love security. And if you wanna try this yourself, um, look in the links below. I'm gonna list the Raspberry Pi I bought, everything you might need to get this started. So links below, check that out. And what's amazing is the first time I actually did this attack was not with the Raspberry Pi. It was actually in GNS3. You can run the entire attack in GNS3. Not even kidding. Uh, let me know if you want to see that too. Whew, anyways, I'm tired. All that attacking, right? Well, if you haven't already, subscribe, hit that like button, and I'll uh, catch you guys later.